Okay, so the good news is, the bad news was, like I said, you guys struggled a little bit with the subtraction. But the good news is, uh, multiplying and dividing integers, way easier, okay? Uh, here's what you need to know for multiplying and dividing two integers. If you have a positive times a positive, and since the parentheses are right next to each other, that's how you know we're talking about multiplication. Or if you have a positive divided by a positive, guess what you get? Emily? A positive. And that's what you've been learning since you were just little kids. So if you have 6 divided by 2, obviously you get 3. It doesn't just magically change to be a negative number or something like that. So that's the math that you've known how to do forever and ever. Okay? If you have a negative a negative or a negative divided by a negative. What do you think you get from that? The positive. Okay? And the reason for that is kind of. A positive times a positive is like if you do a good thing to a good person, then that is a good thing altogether, right? Okay? Oh good. Uh, if you have a bad person and you like put them in jail, then that ends up being a good thing, right? So it's not like, I'm not saying if you, if there's a bad person, you get to beat them up and that's a positive. Oh. Okay? No, <laughs> not anything like that, okay? But if there's a, you know, bad person and then they get removed somehow, they get suspended or they uh, get in-house or go to jail or whatever, then that works out to be a positive thing. Um, at least for the rest of us, okay? Uh, all right, and then the um, last situation is if you have a positive, a positive yeah, that's not what we're, positive times a negative, or if you have a negative divided by a positive, and it really doesn't matter which one comes first, Emily, yes, you can. You get a negative. Okay? For both? For both. Yep. Okay? So if they're the same, whether they're both positive or whether they're both negative, your answer is going to be positive. If they're different, doesn't matter which one comes first, positive times a negative, negative times a positive, whatever, then the answer is going to turn out to be uh, negative. Okay, Matthew? So the only time you get a negative is when you do Two different. Uh, no, you get a negative when you do multiplication as long as one of the two is negative. Okay? All right? Yeah, and so don't be confused or try not to be confused uh, with the difference between this and addition and subtraction. Okay? Because these rules are totally different for addition and subtraction, right? When you add two positives, you do get a positive. But when you add two negatives, what do you get? Negative. A negative. negative. So this is, we're only talking about multiplying and divided, okay? So it's only with multiplying and dividing. All right, so let's do some examples. If you go, well, I'll write a bunch. So many of you wanted to get rid of me today. Why are you leaving? No, I'm not. Oh. And a lot of you were disappointed to find out that I was. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. No, last time there wasn't even a teacher in there. Yeah, no, I know. What? Are you're right next to the office, so. It was fun. Okay. I got my work done too, though. Okay, good. It's always fun. Great to have fun and get your work done. That's awesome. Number three. Okay, so let's do, uh, you guys, I'll well, we'll wait till you come down. Okay, so uh, five times negative eight. First thing, ignore the signs and multiply the two numbers. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is five times eight is 40. 40. 
And then you look at your little cheat sheet here, which you can, in fact, use on the test of the quiz or whatever, and you go, let's see, I had a positive and I had a negative, so the answer is going to be negative. Okay? What is your question, Matthew? Okay, in the back of my notebook, uh -huh. there's all this multiplication stuff. Yay, okay, um, sure. Uh, number two, again, ignore the signs. And first figure out what is 45 divided by oh, 9. Gosh, five, 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 six. Five. It's what? It's, uh, hold on. Okay, everything's fine. Emily, you got it again? Five. Okay, good. And then again, if you look at the uh, cheat sheet, quick one. Give me negative. But isn't that just division? It is just division. We have that on here? Yep. These uh, ones right here are divide, divide, and divide. What was that? Okay. But it just says division. I don't understand. Okay, so we got that figured out. All right, so uh, how about somebody that I have not heard from yet today? Or number three. Okay, so 12 times 3 is 36, and so my answer is positive, okay? Very good. So negative 12 times negative 3, positive 36, okay? Uh-huh. Almost. Negative 8. Yeah, 32 divided by 4 is 8, and since it's a positive number divided by a negative number, your answer is negative, okay? So that's your basic rules. Now, like what we've been doing in the past, we're going to take this and we're going to do it with variables. Okay? Is this hardest? Um, oh, no, no, we're not doing it with variables. We're doing it with uh, parentheses. So let's get a little order of operations going here. And we also get to practice the whole addition and subtraction. All right, let's take a look. So we have to do uh, what's inside the parentheses first, right? Yep. So I need to figure out what uh, 2 minus 8 is. And so really, 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 Jake and uh, Trey and everybody focus up here. I'm just going to do this, Emily, okay? Because uh, we struggled with this a little bit yesterday. So 2 minus 8, I'm going to rewrite as 2 plus... Eight. Negative 8. Okay, so I changed the subtraction problem to an addition problem, and I changed the positive 8 to a negative 8. Okay, so that's how we learned yesterday, we're supposed to learn yesterday, how to uh, do subtraction problems. Okay, now that I have an addition problem, I can look at this and say, which one of these two numbers has the bigger, uh, is, I'm sorry, are these two signs the same or different? Different. Different. So do I add them or subtract them? Subtract, subtract them. Okay. So what is 8 minus 2, Kara? 6. And then the only other thing we need to figure out is will it be a positive 6 or negative 6? Negative. Negative, because the negative number is bigger. And you might be able to just figure that out right here from the beginning. You're trying to take away more than what you have to start with. So obviously you're going to be in the hole, okay? So when you go 2 minus 8, if you try and subtract a bigger number from a smaller number, you're going to get a negative answer every single time. So the answer is okay. negative 6. Not yet. Positive. Now we have to finish the problem. Negative 3 times negative 6 18. is what? Negative positive, positive, 18. positive 18. Because a negative times a negative it's is so positive. a positive. I don't you're disagree. So okay? All right, so let's take a look at number two. Ben, you want to do the stuff inside the parentheses for us? How do I change the negative 7 minus 2 into an addition thing? Okay, good. So instead of saying negative 7 minus positive 2, it's negative 7 plus negative 2. Very nice. Okay, uh, one of my McKinsey's in the back. 
What is negative 7 plus negative 2? Either one of you. Negative 9. Negative 9. Good. Because uh, both the signs are the same. They're both negative. So that means you add them together. 7 and 2 make 9. And keep it as a negative 9. Okay? And then 4 times 9 is? Good. Negative 36. Because a positive times a negative is a negative. negative. Okay? So you're going to have some problems where you're doing, you know, both of these things. We have to do an add or subtract first, and then do a uh, multiplication. Okay. Um, you mentioned that a couple times. Uh, all right. Let's take uh, Jacob. Fourteen minus six. Don't overthink it. Fourteen minus six is eight. Eight, Jacob. I was uh, looking for there. Okay, so you can overthink that and try and go, okay, 14 minus 6, it changes to 14 plus negative 6, signs are different, subtract them, blah, 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 blah. But so it's just 14 minus 6, that's it, right? That's an easy one, that's 8, okay, yeah, yes? Okay. All we do is pretty much simplify it and then put the sign of the word in right? Correct, okay, so finish it off for us, Austin. Awesome. What's negative 2 times 8? Uh, 16. Negative 16. Okay, what's the matter, Carla? Okay, quick little example with the word problem. A football team runs 10 plays. You run a total of 10 plays. Okay? On six of the plays, it has Gains of four yards each. <coughs> All right. On four plays, it has a loss of five yards each. So this is on each play. Okay. So, what's the total net change? Where did they end up from where they started? <laughs> so, if you run six plays and you gain four yards on each play, how many yards did you gain on together? 24, right? Because this first part is just saying six times four is 24. If you run four plays and you lose five yards every single time, then you end up losing 20 yards because four times negative five is negative 20. Okay, good. And then if you gain 24 yards, you lose 20 yards, then overall you have gained four yards, all right? So there's a lot of different uh, word problem, real world type situations where um, positive and negative numbers come into play. Uh, money, football, golf, we did one. Uh, temperature, another one, things like that. Okay? Are you recording? Did you forget? Uh -huh. uh, no, did not forget. Okay, so we have a couple of different things to do here as far as the assignment goes, um, because we have to have the regular old assignment on what we just learned. And I'm also going to give you a little assignment to get you ready for the quiz that we're going to have. Oh, yeah. Um, so let me do it this way. Let's do it this way. Here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I need you to get out a blank piece of paper. And uh, let's do the quiz review right now together. Not together, I mean in class. Okay? So I'm going to give you, oh, 10 minutes or so to work on these problems. Okay, that's all right. And then we'll go through the answers together to make sure you know what's up. And then I'll give you a little assignment to work on. Oh, let's go report.